Hey guys, it's Marcus here from AffiliateMarketingDude.com where you can go to get all your affiliate marketing tips and tricks and learn to make money online. What I'm going to do in this short little video is I'm going to show you how to use my trigger word list on the Marcus's Profit Toolbar and show you exactly how to find profitable niches in seconds. Now first of all, what you want to do is you want to click Open AdWords Planner here. Once you click that, it's going to load the Google AdWords Keyword Planner in the other window. That's why we set up this Profit Toolbar so that you can follow along with these videos as I speak and as you watch the video. Really, really cool, really easy to go through. It's the next best thing that I've found to actually having me there in your office helping you along the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to first either sign in or create an account. If you don't have an account, you can create one for free. All you need to do is have a Google account and link it to AdWords. Very simple, very easy to do. Once you're done with that, you go ahead and hit sign in and it's going to ask for your username and password. And let's see here. We'll just go ahead and enter this. Now, once you enter these, as you are on this program, what you want to do is you want to save all your passwords in here. That way, as you click this stuff, it's automatically going to log you in the next time. Okay, you could do this with uh, my products like Blog Profit Network and Simple Sites. That way your passcode is being saved. So let's go ahead and dive in. This is the basic login admin page for the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. Now what you want to do first and foremost is take a look around and get used to what's going on. So we have search for new keyword and ad group ideas, get search volume for a list of words, get traffic forecast for a list of keywords, and multiply keywords to get new keyword ideas. All right, I think we said keyword enough in this example here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this one. The other ones we'll get into in other videos as well once we start compiling lists of keywords. But for right now, what we wanna do is we wanna find a niche using this list of trigger words that I've provided for you. Now, the idea of the trigger words is to go in and to find a niche without a preconceived idea. What you're gonna notice about this list is that there's no real market behind any of this, right? Like cost, it's just cost. It's not like cost of airline tickets, uh, balance. It's not like balance for weight loss or anything like that. It's basically just a word to see what people are searching for for a certain thing, okay? So we go in and we do something like answers, okay? And we're gonna type it in this box here, enter one or more of the following, your product or service. Instead, we're gonna put in our trigger word. Okay, so we're going to put something like answers, right, like this. Now, you have your options here. What I do is first I go broad. So I leave everything just as it is, all locations, keyword options the same, everything like this. So we're going to go ahead and hit get ideas. And now you'll notice on get ideas that those same options come up. Okay, that's why I just start at broad. Now, you're going to notice two things. You're going to notice the ad group ideas and keyword ideas. The ad group ideas is basically what Google thinks should be categorized into one thing. Like they got all the Bible stuff. Now, when you go into the Bible stuff, you're going to notice that it's all Bible related. So it'll be like Bible answers, Bible questions, Bible topics. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go to keyword ideas and take a look at the various keywords. So we got like questions and answers wiki answers, question and answer, answer my question, ask questions. Okay, so a lot of stuff about questions and answers. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take a look and see if there's anything related to a niche we can use. So here's like Christian answers. Okay, you can use that for like the Bible toolbar. We have uh, answer my question, Islam answers, all different kinds of things. Now, if we wanted to take this and narrow it down, we can go to keyword options and we could do only show ideas closely related to my search terms. Go ahead and click that, turn it on, and it's gonna reload with only things containing the word answer. Now, another thing that we can do is we can actually click and click on like average monthly searches, competition, suggested bid, so if I wanted to see the cheapest words with the lowest bid, I could just click on suggested bid and now it's going to organize them high to low. We're going to go to where that's pointing up. So it's low to high. Okay. So we could see here, there's a lot with nothing. 
And here we got some one cent ones. How do, do Peter answers? I don't know what that is. Interview questions and answers. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Science questions and answers. That would work for the toolbar, right? And again, we just go through and we're going to find stuff. So aptitude question and answer. That's kind of interesting for like an aptitude test or something like that. Top 10 interview questions and answers. That's pretty good. And you can see here that there's a lot of traffic available with very, 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 very little competition and a very low point of cost of entry, which is like one to three cents per click. We can keep going. We've got bank interview questions and answers. That's pretty, pretty dead on. I mean, they basically want a job at a bank. Uh, where can I ask questions and get answers? Uh, wiki answers for math. Okay, a little low on the comp, little low on the uh, average monthly searches there. Okay, family feud questions and answers. Now, this would be cool if we had like a family feud, um, you know, like game toolbar or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, let's see what else we have. Questions and answers for something here. Uh, trivia, general knowledge. So you can see here that we have a lot of different things, and this is just one trigger word. If we go in and start adding other trigger words like enhance, right, like this, we're going to go to like enhance definition. Let's see what else we have. Enhance EMP. Now, a lot of this stuff you might not know what it's all about. So what I've done is I've made it completely easy for you. First, what you want to do is watch this video where it says important, watch the search intent video. This video is part of Simple Sites Big Profits. You can upgrade before you watch it. And what it's going to do is it's going to take you through the intent of why people search for different things, what they search for, and how you can help them. Now, what I've also done is I've created links to help you be able to search within this program. So if you were going to go and say, well, I don't know what an Enhance EMP 2320 is, so I'm going to go ahead and go to Google and search for competition. What you're going to notice is this opens in a new window here. So you can actually go to Google, right, like this, right, and you can actually search and say, well, what is this? Okay, so it looks like some kind of power supply or something like that. So we'll go ahead and search here. Okay, so it looks like a power supply or some kind of shuttle thing. Okay, you can do research and see what's going on. You can also go down and say, okay, well, let's take a look at another one. Uh, maybe like that one where we had enhance photos. So you can go how to enhance photos. You can check Google for the competition again, right, like this, how to enhance photos. See what it looks like. So there's no one bidding. Okay, and that's another important thing that I want to show you is when you see things here and you see no one bidding on the words, right? These are the free search results. Okay, if there's people bidding over here, like if we were going to like if we were to go to the word mortgage, you're gonna see people bidding. Right? See how there's ads here, ads here, and there's ads pretty much everywhere for this word. That means people are bidding. Now on the other word we were on, if we were to go back to it which is how to enhance photos, you can see no one's bidding on it. So this would be a really good niche. And we can also see that on the free side, there's 429 million results. Now, what we want to do to get the real results is actually open it in quotes. Okay, and we'll have some tools and simple sites and things like that to help you with this. And we can see that the real results is only about 20,000. Okay, so we can go and check this out and see what's going on. Um, what I like to do is go back and just click the last number on each page and we'll actually use this method, this is my timeout method, to see what the real competition is and we can see it's only 154. So that's pretty cool. This is a great niche, right? And we found this using our little trigger word list here and the free Google AdWords planner. Okay, so very, very, very simple to use. We can go, you can see we can toggle back and forth from these different tabs to get you into the different um, places that you need to go. So we can see this is, this is actually a good niche to go for. We can actually go to Namecheap and, and get a domain for it. Or we can actually go to Offer Vault, which is also on your toolbar, and we can see if there's anything that we can offer these people. Okay, so when we load Offer Vault here, looks like it wants to be a pain in the neck, we can actually go here and in the search box we could type something like Photo Enhance. Okay, and I think it's just the sizing here that's making this funny something. 
going on, but you can type in there. And we'll hit uh, Photo Enhance right like this. And we'll go ahead and hit Search. And what you'll notice here is that we have different offers like photo cell free download. So there's a download where we get paid $1.10 per download. Um, other things, photo cell, different things like that. Uh, we can do all kinds of different things like edit or photos, right, like this. And see what comes up for photos. And we can see if there's any offers. And we know, oh, I think I spelled it wrong. And if you get that error button coming up, just keep, hit, keep hitting yes. It means it allows the script or something like that. Okay, so for photo, we could go in and see what else is in here. Um, looks like all kinds of date things. Let's do download. Okay, and this is a good one for downloads. Okay, so scrapbook thing here. Let's just do toolbar and see what kind of toolbars come up. And another way to find downloads is to actually search for like MindSpark or whatever. Okay, let's see what we have here. A lot of dating. Okay, here's Coupon Explorer, Daily Bible Guide. So now we're getting into our main uh, downloads here. We can see what's going on. Maps, Transit Guide. Okay, let's see what else. Inbox Ace, Recipes. And I know they have some kind of um, photo enhancer type toolbar. I think it might be under... Uh, one of the other ones. But if you do a little bit of research on here, on, um, yeah, there it is, utility chest. So the utility chest has uh, different things related to photos and things like that as well. I think uh, there's actually another one. But if you do some research here, find out if there, there's some good offers, and then you could go ahead and proceed with the niche. So what I want you to do in this video is start to get comfortable with the trigger word list and searching on Google and searching on the AdWords tool for niche markets and different things like that. And you can go through and use any of these that you want. Um, as time goes on, this is a dynamic program, so I can actually go in and add things. Um, a couple of the things I added right here while I was making the video, like the MSN, the Google, and the Offer Vault. And we're also going to have Namecheap and different things like that so that you can actually go through and work alongside this video, work with me. Now, the cool thing is, is all this opens in a new window. So as you're working with this, you could keep the video playing and do the things as we're going through. So go ahead, play around with the niches. Um, one of the links we're going to have is the Namecheap link. You can go through and that'll take you to Namecheap. There we go. I just added it for you. Uh, where it says check for domains, you can actually just go in here. Once you found your trigger word, you could just um, copy like how to enhance photos. Click on check for domains, paste in the keyword, and then you can hit submit and see if the domain is in fact available. Super easy to see what's available and you can go ahead and order it right here in the program and you're ready to go. So all you need to do is go ahead and use this trigger word list alongside the Google AdWords planner. Find a niche that looks good. Use Offer Vault to find your offers. Check the competition and see if the domain's available. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you've learned a little bit more about the Google AdWords tool. Go ahead and use it. Check out the other videos we have for you in this program, and I'll see you in the next video. Again, this is Marcus from AffiliateMarketingDude.com.